Hello and welcome to On The Wrist. Today I'm very excited to bring you a review of my Formex Essence. This is a watch that I've had for about half a year now, and it's something that I've been wanting to do a review on for quite a while, but it's taken a bit of preparation and also several edits of this video to get it just right. So without further ado, let's dive into the review of this really excellent and interesting watch. Before we get started, a quick wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing my Seiko Prospects or Prospects, depending on how you say it, dive watch. I've had this watch for a little over a year. Review to, link to the review video in the description as well as above. It's a ton of fun, really easy to wear, and I love wearing it on this rubber strap. But back to Formex. So Formex is a micro brand. If you hadn't heard of them, they started in 1999. And the name comes from the French word, or French words, forme extreme, which means in French, extreme shape. They are a sort of racing themed watch brand. I don't see that as much in this model, but one thing they do dedicate themselves to is high quality engineering and materials. And that really comes into play in this watch. So let's start off with some technical specs about the watch, and then I'll go into why I picked this watch as my first luxury watch purchase. So the Formex Essence I have here is in this wonderful blue color. The case diameter is 43 millimeters, height 10 millimeters, so very slick to the wrist. Lug to lug is only 49 millimeters. So even though it has a larger diameter, it still has a fairly tight lug to lug. The crystal front and back are sapphire with any reflective coating. The water resistance is 10 bars or 100 meters and it doesn't have a screw down crown, which is pretty interesting. The case has its own suspension system, which we'll talk about a little more later. And the movement is Kosh certified. It is, this watch is a chronometer. You can see it there at the bottom of the dial. Kosh is the Control Officina Suisse de Chronometers. Essentially, it's a Swiss organization that will validate the accuracy of the movement. So I have over here the Kosh certificate. So essentially, the movement is taken, put in a bunch of different positions as well as temperatures, and the accuracy is recorded. So at the end, it is certified that is within the limits of minus four plus six per day. And this, you can see here, it's well within that. It's 0.32 seconds variation per day. So this is a highly accurate movement that is certified. The movement is, is a Stelita STP-11 with a 38 hour power reserve. Again, that's the chronometer grade version of the movement. It is a Swiss made watch, so Stelita is a Swiss movement. And there are a couple strap options which I'll show shortly. Some other interesting features specifically about the bracelet is the bracelet has quick release, uh, a quick, quick release feature. You can see there are those two buttons. So if I just come in and press those, a little hard to do on camera. I can take the bracelet off very quickly, right? So that is a really cool feature. That is a, a nice touch. So it makes swapping out straps really easy. Also, you can see the nice Formex branding there. This bracelet is incredibly comfortable. The links are very small, so you get a very tight fit to your wrist, and the lugs are solid steel. So obviously the case is 316, but it's 316L, which is a different grade of stainless steel. And the lugs are screw-in lugs, so it's very easy to, to change the size, and the watch actually comes with the proper size screwdriver to do it. On the leather strap that you can get with this watch, and here it's in this nice blue color, they're very comfortable, Italian gray leather with a nice Formex branding beneath. The spring bars are curved, which gives you a very tight fit to the watch and helps keep it slim on the wrist. But one thing that's really cool is this clasp that they have for their straps with micro adjustment. 
So first off, so first off, this clasp is carbon fiber, so it's incredibly light and very strong. And second, after you've snapped it into place, you see this little feature here. This is a micro adjustment point for a leather strap. So I frequently have an issue where I'm not quite this size, I'm not quite that size. So the watch is either too tight or too loose on my wrist when wearing leather. This removes that issue because if you just press this button, you can further ratchet the strap to a tighter fit. And there's about five different adjustment points. You can sort of see those slots there in the groove. There's a bunch of about five different adjustment points for really fine fit. So that means you can have you can make it loose on the fly without having to completely unbuckle it, or you can just get a really comfortable fit no matter what the situation, which is a really nice adjust, um, really nice feature, which I've never seen in any other watch. This, the leather straps also have the quick release function at every junction. So even if you want to swap out this buckle to a different strap, it's very quick and easy to do so. Just really nice de attention to detail, makes it super easy to change out straps, which is something I do all the time. I love wearing different straps with my watches. And that micro adjustment makes this so comfortable. So I wanna come, come back quickly and notice a bunch of details of the dial, face, and case of this watch. So first off, these four sets of hexagon screws, really interesting design. You see it a lot in their other watches. This is part of that case suspension system which I mentioned earlier. So this watch is actually has a suspension system. So if it rides up on your wrist, you can actually get a little extra play because the watch will move up with your wrist, giving it extra comfort. I also think that's just incredibly cool. I've never seen a suspension on a watch before. So that is a unique feature to Formex and that blew me away. As far as features of the case itself, it's got this nice mirror polish around the angled face there, but on the top, it's got a vertical grain, you can see there, kind of, across this flat surface, which matches nicely with the dial. You can see there in the blue, there's also a vertical grain on the CNC face which is broken up nicely by those CNC to horizontal lines. I love that look, that consistent pattern machined into the face. You can tell a lot of effort went into designing this watch. The markers are, have slots in them for the Super Luminova. And the Lume is actually a really interesting shade of blue, which pairs quite nicely with the blue face. The lug has a spot for an allen key so you could use the, that to wind your watch i wouldn't recommend it though but it's an interesting crown and i personally really like their brand logo formex has recently changed their logo i think a lot of people did not like it they said it looks too much like a piece of industrial equipment which is actually why i liked it i'm an engineer and i really enjoyed that sort of technical looking logo so this actually looks a lot like fowler which is a caliper manufacturer as well as other precision instruments. And I thought the parallels were really funny. Maybe not funny is the right word, but I really enjoyed them because it, this is a highly accurate watch. So to me, it makes sense to have it look similar to a piece of high quality precision measuring equipment. Obviously there's the date window down there. And now let's take a look at the movement itself. Flipping the watch over, you can see this gorgeous exhibition case. So you can see the custom Formex rotor with the blued out screws all throughout the movement, the wonderful perlage on all the different features of the movement, the gorgeous coloring of the, of the gears versus the stainless steel of the rest. It's just very a very attractive movement. And that prominently featured jewel there for another splash of color. This just looks like a quality watch. This looks like a lot of attention to detail went into it. It's obvious that a real person designed this, put a lot of effort and thought into every single detail of this watch. It's even interesting the shape of the watch within the case. You know, this very strange with these semi-sharp edges with these rounded portions. 
it's just visually so incredible. Now, this watch does come with a pretty hefty price tag. The MSRP on the chronometer grade version of this watch is 1265 US dollars. So this is the first luxury watch I have ever purchased. I went through some, I was very fortunate earlier this year and had some major life events and I felt like I wanted to celebrate with my first luxury watch. But the reason why I think this watch is worthy of that high price tag is that compared to other, what, you, what I guess you would call luxury or entry luxury, depending on your school of thought for watches, this watch has so much more value and effort put into it than other watches similar to like the Oris level brand. The finishing is outstanding. The attention to detail is unparalleled. The amount of interesting, unique features, the case suspension, the quick release bracelet, the carbon fiber micro adjustment strap, just insane. So that is what drew me to this watch. And it looks like a high quality, high precision instrument, which attracts me as an engineer. There are a bunch of other color options for this watch. There is a non-chronometer grade version for $785. There are also versions of this watch that have sunburst style rather than the horizontal CNC look. The chronometer grade version is the only one with the CNC look, however. There's also a meteorite dial, and they also recently re released, I believe it's called the Essence Allegra, which has a carbon fiber case, which is pretty interesting as well. One thing I want to mention is I purchased this from longislandwatch.com. Now, when I went to go purchase this, I wanted to try it on somewhere, but I couldn't find any US retailer that carried it in stock. It's a micro brand, so you run into that a lot. I actually bought this never having tried it on which was very scary for that amount of money. But I knew what my other fit was, what, sorry, what my other fits were for different watches, and I was confident it was going to fit well, but it was still pretty scary. Working with Mark from Long Island Watch, he made the process incredibly easy, he was very helpful, very responsive, and it was just such a smooth process that I felt like I needed to share with you guys. You should check out Long Island Watch. They have good deals, fair pricing, very responsive and you know I had an issue when I got the straps initially you know Formex has several different sizes for their leather straps the normal size is incredibly long like I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and the average size you know I couldn't even fit it with basically the last hole so I had to get a shorter strap so the straps that came with it I had to return to Mark and he had to get new straps and then ship them to me but he did it all free of charge was incredibly helpful in the process. I just had to pay for shipping the straps back, which honestly not a big deal because of how much effort he was gonna to have to go through on his end. So incredible service, fair price. So I'm super happy with my purchase. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Mark at Long Island Watch. Thank you. And you guys should check him out. There'll be a link to his website in the description. He also has a YouTube channel link also in the description. So without further ado, let's get some wrist shots. All right, here we have it on the bracelet. You know, 43 millimeters in diameter, 49 lug to lug. Again, this is a great fit. I do think it's the largest I would go because it does just almost cross over into too large, but I think it's perfect for the size it is. Um, and like I said, this bracelet is just so comfortable. It's so easy to get a good fit because of the way they've designed this bracelet with the smaller lengths. On the bracelet, I think it's a really great look for every day. Stainless steel, classic, and it's it can be dressy, but it's not too dressy either. The industrial looking screws, screw heads there, as well as the very angular case and the stainless steel look make it so it can be casual or formal. Bracelet outdoors, really sharp face, very comfortable, looks great. It's also worth noting that to change all of these straps, I don't need any tools. 
because they have these this quick release feature on the bracelet and the quick release spring bars on the strap it's can, the straps can be changed over without needing any tools which is really great let's just gotta find the hole there we go Here we have it on a light blue strap. This is one of the options you can purchase through Formex. And I love this color. It's a quite a nice combination with the dial where it's different enough, but it's actually this almost the same color as the loom that comes up. Unfortunately, I don't have a camera capable of doing a loom shot, but you can check out other YouTube videos to see that. But on the blue, it's just a really fun blue on blue combination, a little sportier, a little less formal, and just fun to wear. Here it is on the blue. You can see the difference in the coloring a little better out in the light. Very fun, don't have many blue leather straps, so it's a nice breath of fresh air wearing it like this. I just have to bring to your attention that curved lug that fits so nicely and really helps with that nice clean look, really tight fit, and helps the watch, you know, prevents there from being dead space and lets the 43 millimeter diameter feel smaller and have that tight lug to lug rather than needing to extend it further to have a straight string book, uh, spring bar. All right, and here we have it on what I think is my favorite strap of the watch, this nice brown leather. So blue and brown on a blue watch face, brown leather is a classic combination. It can be formal, it can be casual, and the leather strap is just so comfortable with that micro adjustment down here. So I think it's just a knockout look and it makes so much sense from a comfortability standpoint. So this is the strap that gets the most time on this watch. And I would highly recommend anyone who buys this watch get a multiple straps for it. There's also a rubber strap you can get. I have no experience with that, but if it's as comfortable as the bracelet and the leather strap, it's sure to be a very great strap to have in your watch box. Especially because of how easy it is to change out straps on this watch. All right, here we have it. Brown leather outside, bit of an overcast day, but really pops on that brown leather. Love that CNC face, just so easy to see. Great detail. Closing thoughts. As far as luxury watches go, I think this is a really great entry level luxury. The definition of luxury is probably worth a video on itself because in the watch world, it's somewhat warped, but this watch, for the price it is compared to the other watches in that price category, blows them out of the water. All the unique features like the case suspension, the micro adjustment clasp for the bracelet, the or sorry for the strap, the quick release feature for the bracelet, it just it's so much more value, so much more interesting than other watches of this price point. I love this watch. I really enjoy wearing it. It's a ton of fun, and to me, it feels like a nice high-end watch that you can wear that non-watch people won't, won't scoff at. Don't be like, oh, he's wearing a Breitling or an Omega or Rolex. No, it's a brand that I think people who like watches will notice, and you can have an interesting dialogue about that, but it's not something that's too showy. It's not something that's going to draw other people's negative attention. It's something that I think you can wear knowing that it's a high-quality timepiece, but it's not going to have the negative connotations one might get from wearing a luxury brand, depending on where you are. So this is a really fun watch. I highly recommend you check out the Formex website, link in the description below, as well as the Island Watch website, also in the description. And let me know if you have any comments or questions below. I'd love to hear from you. If there's any other type of content you'd like to see, please let me know. Uh, with that, oh, I just want to check what time it is real quick. It looks like it's time to like and subscribe. You know, I do make these videos because I enjoy doing it, but I also want to know that you like them too. It helps encourage me to make more videos and hone the type of content I make to be better, more enjoyable for you. So please, if you like the videos that I'm making, please be sure to like and subscribe. All right, that's all for me today. 
Thank you for watching. This has been On The Wrist. Have a great day.